Now, one thing that you might notice about this chart right here is that this data right here is actually formatted not as a currency, it's 0.3 M, and M stands for million. So this is 0.3 million or 300,000. But we want it to be formatted as a currency. Well, what I'm gonna do is actually come over here to the data view, and you'll notice that if I come up here to, let's go sales figures, we'll see that the revenue is just formatted as just a plain old number. There's no formatting to it, it's just a number. But we can actually reformat that here in Power BI to be a currency. And so let's say I just click on revenue, so make sure you clicked on revenue somewhere. And I'm gonna come up here to modeling, and I'm gonna come over here to format, and I'm gonna go down here to currency, and I'll just do, you know, you can do it as a euro or whatever. I'm just gonna do English. And I can increase or decrease the decimals if I wanted. But right now I'll have zero decimals because we don't have any decimals and I don't care about decimals right now. But now we have formatted revenue as a currency. And what I'm gonna do is actually do the same thing for the monthly report. I'm gonna to go to sales and format as currency. Whoops, I think I just formatted it. some crazy French Switzerland currency. All right, I'm gonna do English. And so I'm just gonna do that for all these different items and format all of these as a currency. So I'm just gonna come up here, currency, English. So go ahead and do that on yours just so that the formatting is proper. I know this is taking just a little bit of time to do this, currency. And then in a second, what we are gonna do is go back to our data and you're gonna see that our charts are automatically gonna to update to show that. Okay, so now if I come back up here to the report view, you'll notice that now it is in currency. So now there's a little dollar sign in front of all of these numbers. And when we hover each of these items, you'll notice that it's a currency as well where before is just a plain unformatted number, but now it is formatted as a currency. So you might need to go through all of your data and manipulate some of the formatting just so it looks proper. Okay, well, as you can see, it's really easy to create these visualizations.